Okay, I just want to show you a few nice features of Rimlog NG, next generation. And uh, bring up the rig control here. And the first thing is the scope. Click on the scope and you'll see this is the, uh, the band scope, just like you have on the, the front of the radio. I've been playing with these controls down here a little bit, trying to make it look a little bit better, but uh, you can change the gain, increase it, and increase the gamma a little bit, and knock out some of that noise. There's a signal right there, you can point and click. Nope, he dropped off as soon as I did that. Here's another one. And you might have to fine tune, uh. Man, that sounds like some digital work. Might have to fine tune it a little bit. But that's, uh, that's the way the band scope works. But uh, what I really like about Rimlog NG are being able to edit the memories. I can go in and uh, click the button read all memories from the radio and I can edit the memories right from the software. I really like that. I can also save it to a file. That's kind of nice. Uh, another one is editing the band stacking registers. And uh, I don't use uh, the M-pad button that much, but uh, you can go in and edit uh, edit these, save it to a file, and then if uh, something happens and you have to replace it, you can do it. This is what I really like. I can edit the scope, uh, the fixed edges. And let me read it from the radio right now. I go in and uh, I can change the uh, the fixed edges through the software and I like being able to do that I can save it to a file and I just thought of this but during contest uh, I'll put those uh, fixed edges pretty close together say during the ready contest and I'll put them real close together um, and then uh, during normal operation they'll be spread out like they are right now say on uh, 20 meters right now you know they're pretty pretty spread out and uh, and this works fine but during a contest if I put them really close together like during the ready contest if I change them and start out at 14.08 and go to 14.09 and then from 14.09 to 14.100 and then 14.100 to 14.110 I'll show you what I can do with uh, this selected set fixed edges according to frequency when I use the tuning dial on the radio and I scroll it automatically jumps over to the next band edge and if I'm in a contest and I just have uh, say the ready contest and I just have uh, uh, 10 kilohertz uh, uh, or 20 kilohertz per band edge I can just scroll right through them and uh, it looks really good but I like this you'll see uh, I'm on band edge 2 if you're looking at the uh, icon 7300 I'm right towards the edge and as soon as I get over it switches to the third band edge and I don't lose the indicator the frequency indicator I really like that about this software if you can do it in this software, they can do it in the firmware for the radio. Uh, I wonder if they'll ever do that. Uh, the other thing I, I like is the auto hold in center mode. And I don't uh, get on center mode an awful lot, but when I do, uh, I like that checked. Because when it's not checked, I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, I see that uh, there's a, a signal up the band a little bit. And as soon as I start scrolling, kind of losing. But if this uh, is checked, this option is checked, if I see a signal down the band and I want to go to it, it holds it, and I can tune right to it. I like that, and then it goes back to scrolling. So I, I like that feature. 
Uh, this software is really nice. I've been playing around with it some. I've uh, imported my log. Works really well. Uh, I've been using WSJTX and JT Bridge with it. Uh, that works well. It uh, uh, seems to be uh, a, a good, uh, good program for the Macintosh, and it's free. So uh, if you uh, take a look at the links that I have below, you'll see where you can download it and install it. So if you got a Mac, I recommend you, you try this out. It's a, it's a good program. And uh, that's all I've got. Uh, just a short clip here. Thanks for watching. Please visit my website, www.k0pir.us. And remember to please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks again for watching. 73 and good DX.